Hi brethren, God be love. I come to you in the utmost responsive understanding and joy. So I'm up north, so my state has decided um, an executive order for everyone to wear a mask and I will not will not comply will I will not comply that's not to say that other brethren that are having issues where they feel they need to or scared that they wear one um, for me and my household we're going to serve Yahuwah um, I don't come from the spirit of fear and excuse the noise there I'm under a covered parking area in a mall I was gonna go in and challenge to see if I could uh, walk in the mall for exercise again distractions the devil always has to come around and you know have loud noises and things when you're trying to speak some type of encouragement or words so excuse how dark it is here um, some of the spots were taken where I need to clean out a few things in the trunk um, that I have purchased so I'm gonna say it like this I my son was working um, they demanded him to wear a mask he tried it was a surgical type of mask it cut off his air supply he slept for 14 straight hours and was sick second time I told him I had bought when I had purchased my car last year not this one I'm in um, but the, my, my vehicle that I had bought and purchased last year uh, I felt Holy Spirit tell me get earplugs masks and a few other items like uh, hand sanitizer and things I had no idea this was going to be happening this year um, that was March of 2019 my daughter, uh, I gave two masks to because she has a child. Um, and sometimes with her allergies and so forth, it helps to be protective um, against those sort of things. However, I'm so sorry about the background noise. I may have to redo this. Um, when you decide to... prophetically choose to not comply with something there are usually more than one reason for me there's just two well, there's there's two one is that um, you're not gonna have me wearing anything that the Heavenly Father doesn't direct me to wear or do and two I don't have the spirit of fear and any sickness I've ever had in my life I've been able to get healed up so Yahusha is the king of healing he's going to heal and he's going to heal those so when i saw that brazil put on their little false uh jesus a uh, ninja mask i thought how blasphemous is that yahusha would never need a mask ever that's not to say some brethren will have will have a problem wearing one for myself i have faced uh, stares and looks but yesterday uh, became the first real oppressive persecution I received uh, from a man walking into a Kroger store we my son and I were coming out and um, he said no mass I said no I'm not the spirit of, uh, of fear and I've been alive and I told him this many years <laughs> I'm gonna keep chucking along because I trust in the Most High my father Abba Yahuwah and I started to go outside and I mean I just started speaking into the sky and I just and I just started saying different things so spiritually for myself it's not something I'm gonna do uh, I'm a human being I have a choice on if I want to go to hell correct I have a choice if I want to sin correct I have a choice if I want to do things heavenly if I want to do things spiritually and follow the Most High's commandments and Torah and Shabbat and have Shalom so you're going to give me the choice to decide what I'm going to do. So I prepped up. 
Now, some things will be hard. Today, I went into a store. We got a few looks. A few people went in as well. They were looking for masks, actually. Uh, the cashier did not have a mask on. I've seen some violent videos of brethren or just, I don't even know, just Hebrews, but I don't even know, you know, if they believe in the most high, but violently getting attacked for not wearing one. It was interesting because this man who said this to me uh, saw the woman of Esau behind me and never said anything, never said anything to her. So it's interesting how that's kind of being um, brought out. See, during the time of slavery, everything was dictated to you. Now, the one choice I have is to serve my Heavenly Father the way I'm going to serve Him. And I'm not going to serve Him with a mask. I'm not going to breathe my own breath and my own nostrils of, of uh, air that needs to be clear. I trust that the air is going to purify. Yet, they still have fireworks about to be sold out here if anything that would be the day to wear a mask if anything that's the day to protect yourself i mean all this smoke they're going to have in the sky all these chemtrails that they've been spraying and now they just want to start this mask why because the devil wants to put a veil back on he wants to put a veil on everyone this is his way i'm telling you he's using this this pan and pandemic to set lies and to distort and to make things chaos and control and to get you to fall asleep and everything else. So it's not just about sickness. It's not just about staying healthy. This is a real spiritual war. And I'm feeling it and I'm seeing it. But regardless, so I'm traveling around my state. I'm not in my, my home um, and my place. So I have chose to give up jobs. I chose to not accept a position yesterday. Of $18 an hour it would have to be the number 18 but $18 an hour in office because I will not wear a mask so I won't have that job um, my son is quitting his job today so he's just calling he was only working one day a week basically um, right before this happened uh, it's harder to deal with food and things like that out in public um, you, know, you can still go through drive throughs and everything, but I choose to struggle and suffer through this season. It was good before, but I refuse to put on a mask. There would only be two reasons why I would put on a mask. One is there's so much smoke or bomb uh, residue uh, from a bomb or something that I'd have to put it on. Or two, my children, or it was like life or death situation, having to go into a medical office, something like that, but I don't even have to go there. So I believe in natural health and all that. So everything the Most High has given us here is to heal us up and to help us. Um, so I'm roughing it right now. And we're just doing some camp. We're going to do some traveling, some going around during the summer. We, you know, and family and so forth. But it is just that way. I have a new laptop that family member provided as a blessing and a gift. And thank you, brethren, who helped Um to ease a little bit of the struggle during a few things that were going on. Um, now, my other channel, and you know who you are, brother. You know who you are, Texas. So, um, if you happen to see this video, we'll be talking soon. So, um, you know, I don't usually, you know, I never really ask for certain things on this channel, but I wanted, there's a few things I want to do. You know, the articles and the, and the areas where I'm able to start writing again, all of these certain things that are of necessity I feel um, that would be beneficial for me to further the kingdom on a level where I'm providing these articles and so forth if you would like to donate to my PayPal um, I will leave it at the bottom it's been in other videos toward ministry um, and what you have enjoyed that I've said in the past from the Heavenly Father I really want to seek the Most High even more to get uh, what he tells me to say and um, I will not comply or compromise my faith not everyone may feel this this is something for me that I have to go through I don't want to warn I have something on my lips. I need to have air come out of my nose. 
I have allergies. I need my lungs. My lungs do fine just by themselves. So, COVID-19 or not. Okay, Sarah, so Sarah, so with that, I mean, oh well. If every human being on this earth wore a mask, that would tell me something is definitely wrong with the remnant and their loyalty and where they're at. Because if you think about it, there's no possible way every human being is going to comply under that law. Mandatory this, mandatory this. No. No, mandatory serve the Most High and do live according to His commandments, statutes, and laws. How about that? That is my choice. I resign from the nine to five unless I can do it from home. I resign from witchcraft and I resign from chaos of this world. Don't need it, the matrix. So you can walk and, and dance um, and praise the most high and find a way to, to bicycle or eat more albacore and salmon that's in packages. We have packaged milk. Um, I got coconut milk, coconut water, tuna fish, different veggie chips, chips, crackers, things like that, beans, um, and left a few things at a family member's house. I literally, I'm not playing. I'm so not playing. I, as a woman, obviously there's certain things I need as well. So toilet paper, things like that, wipes, purchase that today, purchase that the other day, stocking up, you know, things are going to get worse. And if we can make it through this time, if I'm able to be able to find abundance and use the soil to really be of a rich uh, increase in my life, and I'm able to write and I'm able to do something, I can do, take care of it at the um, inside and maintain wonderful. But if I'm not able to go to a grocery store without a mask, I just won't be at that grocery store. Plain and simple. Something has to be mailed somewhere, somehow order online and mailed to a mysterious shop I'll have to pick it up that way whatever it is because I'm not complying with that as the most high and the Holy Spirit is my witness that's not what my immediate little family is gonna do if we should need to we will because it's for our health not because you tell us to period most high goes over government he goes over everything so I'm here to see his kingdom come, his will be done. Zion, hallelujah. And all those who are grafted into the remnant and the bride of Christ and the 144s were sealed. And after a certain beautiful dream that I had that was reality in heaven, in the supernatural spiritual that I experienced with my heavenly father, I'm not looking back. That was the end of last year. I'm never looking back on that. His will will come to pass. Judgment will come. All these things will come. The sword will be put down into that soil. And I am more than willing to ride and be that warrior. I need to be on that horse when the time comes. All right, you guys. Any questions or anything, leave below. Agape love to you all. Hope this has been some kind of encouragement in some way. I'm going to go ahead and clean out the back here, get where I'm going, and until the next time, which I have three more videos, uh, three more topics that need to be talked about, and then I can start really doing the work I need to do. Shalom.